Hey guys, welcome to the TriStar Gym channel. Today I have Carl Pravic in the house. You guys are about to watch a video we did on Omoplata. We've decided to do a collab instructional together. I got the Fox here, I got the lighting, I got the camera. So I said, let, let me do a collab instructional with my man Fox. If you like this video you're about to watch, if you like the Omoplata details, check out our instructional at jujiclub.com. We're doing split guard slash Omoplata attacks, yeah? So lots of follow-ups to this video that you're about to watch. Enjoy and make sure to pick up our instruction. Okay guys, welcome to the TriStar Gym channel. Today's episode, I have the Silver Fox with me, Carl Pravic, the mastermind of jujitsu. Guys, if you haven't seen Carl Pravic before on this, on this channel, I've had him on many times. Stay tuned, you're in for a treat. Today we're talking about Omoplata. Omoplata, some of you don't know what that is. Some of you have been doing it for many, many years. Today we're gonna talk about the importance of Omoplata. It's a maneuver that I find saves the day so many times, especially when you're fighting a seasoned opponent. When I'm fighting somebody who's a more beginner or a good blue belt, I don't usually need the omoplata, but once you start getting to purple, brown, black, they know that they don't want to give you armbar, they don't want to give you triangle, the lesser of the three evils, the big three, the big three in the guard is triangle, armbar, omoplata. The lesser of the three evils, the one that's hardest to finish, it's not yeah, really a sub, it's, it's more of a sweep you rarely see people tap with, with, with omoplata. Is omoplata. So blue belts will give you triangle, blue belts will give you arm bar quite easily, but once we hit the purple belts, omoplata saves the day time and time again, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about what is omoplata first. Omoplata basically is a shoulder lock using your legs. So try to refrain from holding on to his arm with your, with your hands. So that's, that's, so now we have that out of the way. I, it's kind of like a kimura. Yes. With your legs. Yes. You're bending the guy's arm like this. Do you ever get people to tap with omoplata? Yes. Yes? yes. Honestly, I, I haven't scored an omoplata tap on, let's say, higher than per, purple belt in like years. I always get the sweep. Always sweep. I think uh, that is one of the most underrated uses of omoplata. The reason why people, I think, as, as Firaz had mentioned, it's, it's the least of the three evils. So generally speaking, a high level guy, if he's in your guard and he gets in trouble, he has to offer something to, to escape. He will offer you omoplata. So you have a chance to use omoplata a lot. The, pro, the reason why they're offering you omoplata at the, at the expense of the other two is because there's so much you know, movement in the shoulder so they can pick the angle how they escape. So when you use omoplata, I think it's very important to develop follow-ups depending on the guy's escape, number one. But also, as you had mentioned, Use it as a sweep. People sometimes just get so wedded to that submission, try to hold on to the guy's body, he rolls, they create a scramble, and now you're in the bottom. Once you, there's a very simple, simple sort of uh, demarcation line that I use. Once I see the guy's butt come from under my arm, I've lost the omoplata, it's time to disengage, let him sweep himself let's, and get on top. Let's show them. Okay, so basic omoplata, then let's get into the details, all the variants of omoplata, what can happen. We gotta be uh, pointing to this direction, so. I'm in the guard. If I get caught in the triangle, it's the worst of the three. So we have armbar triangle and omoplata. Triangle, in my opinion, is the worst to be caught in. Right? Absolutely, I agree. No? Yes. Second, That's the hierarchy. Second worst, arm lock. arm lock. I find it's a little harder to uh, get out of, but I can with, you know, even some guys will let their arm break. It's, That's you know, true. You see, it's rare cases, but choke, I don't yeah. matter, it doesn't matter how tough you are. Yeah. You're going out, right? Absolutely, I agree. You, some guys will let you put them out, but they're out, they're done, the fight's <laughs> over. Some guys let you break their arm and they keep fighting it. It does happen, it's rare, but it keep fighting. Of course, we're talking about you know, top level competition. Um, but omoplata, have I ever tapped omoplata? I don't know if I've ever tapped omoplata, to be honest with you. Like, I, can't, I can't think of a time. <laughs> but show everybody what's omoplata. So guys, first things for omoplata, you cannot set it up when the guy's hands are on your torso. I need his hands off my torso. So that's the first thing. So once I have this, now I'm starting to put Firas in trouble. So mm -hmm. right now there's a possibility of a triangle and arm lock. So a guy that he knows, what he'll do is, is st start to respect and it's gonna turn. So now there's a couple of different ways to make this a lot more successful. One is 
forget about using your hands to hold on. Your hands are too busy scooting backwards. And what I want to do is make sure that when I finish with an omoplata, first of all, the battle to bring his head down is going to be a lot easier at his elbow than at his shoulder. Here, especially if you got a bigger guy, easily he'll posture up. So I'm battling, I'm trying to cut him down. And what I'm, we're going to, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. You know, I'm going to be playing sort of the lined up position and perpendicular position, especially if I have somebody strong. Well, I would say I'm pretty strong. What did you say? Yes, you Tell are these poor people on the camera how <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> but once I get here, guys, I'm battling to bring uh -huh. his head to the floor. Once I bring it, guys, it's very important that you keep your calf close to the elbow. Here, for us, it feel, feels pretty good. He may not be able to yank out, but it's not, it's not torquing it. So I want to have this. This is it. Okay. So that's the making of a, of a, of a Good omoplata where you go close to the elbow. Can you show me that again, the detail? For sure. So hands on the mat, number one, hands on the mat. Can't omoplata a guy with his hands no, on the no. chest. No, no, it's, you know, from here I would do something different. Arm bar, triangle. For sure. Right. So hands. Here, here you have an arm bar here, I feel. Yes, I do. He, he, so, can you show them everybody? Shot, yeah. I love shotgun could, arm bar. We, this is, I call it shotgun, because like, see so you yeah, got the, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> you got like the shotgun pump grip, yeah. right? We've we've been over this. There's uh, yes, I think yes. two armbar yeah, videos. One, about this. I forget. But let, get, get in the shock. Everybody, when you're in shock, like I'm feeling a squeeze here on my arm, guys. My arm's about to pop. They turn their arm because yeah. they, they want to relieve that pressure. They're taking the lesser of two evils. Either you get armbar or you get omoplata. Yeah. You can't, I can't. I have a possibility of a triangle oh, yes. as well. Oh yes. So the guy will turn. Uh, be yeah, pretty yeah. far. He doesn't want that triangle either. So if he's holding on to the leg, you can actually. Feel. Remove this yes. and give yourself a better angle to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would I, actually ideally I would like to keep my leg ideally mm -hmm. under his arm, mm -hmm. or if he's standing under his leg, that's even yes. more brutal. Like this. Here. Yes. The Yoki versus Cal 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 they were like this for like. Yeah, this is a, a this, prolonged this, period of time. Like this is this, very this is very good grip here. Yeah, this is, and then, you oh. can almost have. Uh, ah, tap, tap, tap. Yeah. That's a nice one. Go ahead again. Show that detail. Oh, that's be beautiful. Can I see that? Yeah. You got an underhook? Yep. Underhook, underhook in the wrist? So hand assisted. Mm -hmm. Let's go over this. Right? Yep. Now, now we have two things to go over. <laughs> Let's go over them. There's more. Let's make sure we There's don't more, guys. Stay tuned. There's, There's stay more. Tuned. Stay tuned. There's more. First one, we did talk about the calf. Yeah. And then we're going to go see that underhook that you yeah. just did. So I guess hands on the chest. That's no bueno. My partner's here. I attack. And I'm, you know, like this. If he doesn't do anything, this is, you know, I can finish with I, the You got a top right here. Yeah. I can also but go to what, a triangle. One thing they might not be seeing is, look. He's got, he's got an arm bar because my thumb is pointing up. When I want to relieve the, the arm bar pressure, I got to turn my thumb down, right? So, my, so I will actually try to help you keep, keep your thumb up, but, yeah. but most guys, you know, yeah, they will turn hard. Mm -hmm. Once that happens, they turn so far. If I try a triangle, there's just too much distance for me to cover, right. to bring back. Right. It just, like yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm smothering that triangle. So what I'm going to do is, is move away, and I'm using the inner part of my thigh, and mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. now... If I can, I will actually try to keep this. Keep this arm? Yeah, keep uh, this I'm dead arm. here. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, now I'll tap. This will tap me. Yeah. Can you uh, put a little pressure here? Yeah, yeah, that underhook, I don't like. Ah, tap. There's <laughs> other ways to finish. You can also straighten out your legs. But once, so, once my left leg is either under his arm or under his leg, mm -hmm. this is pretty much done. Mm -hmm. Can you underhook me here again? Yes. So it's a very slight. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah. There's no way. Let me show that. <laughs> Let me show that. I'm sure. stuck. I'm really stuck. Okay. So hands in the chest, pummeling in. Yep. I like to grab the point of the elbow, start shotgun. Yeah. And now I'm in trouble. Yeah. So I will turn away. Mm -hmm. And I keep this. Keep this here if you can. Straight. Right. Start to straighten. Uh, I'm, I'm controlling this wrist. Yes. Now this is very bad. Mm -hmm. This is really bad for you. Now, if you have somebody that's flexible, yes, and just this, I, this I never used to do. Yeah, it's like very here, here, I used to come here. Yeah, and kind of. I can still take the pressure. It's not good. I'm not in good position. It's not good for you. But if but I let go of the arm, which you don't. Yeah. Because so this, the top. Sorry. The attack on that it's on like this side is one. Arm. Yeah, but it's one hand. So one, one hand, I keep I keep hold off the wrist, and this side I just. Mm -hmm. Rumble, shotgun, the guy's defending the shotgun. There's no need to let go of the wrist, this wrist. Yeah. Boom. I would hold on to now this. I feel like you're really stuck. Yeah, I am stuck. 
and you don't come up off your back here. You just underhook. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This this will finish, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I used to come up here and straighten my legs. Yeah, I can escape this. Mm -hmm. That's especially why. That's why. That's why I'm getting sweeps and not subs. Yeah, especially if you hold up. Yeah, you, yeah. If you let go of my hand, I can escape this. Mm -hmm. Can you try to pull your arm up? That's pretty tight. Huh? This I cannot. Yeah. Yeah. This is bam, tap. Not tap. But it's the tap is on this hand because it's it's sort of arm assisted. Oh yeah, it's 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 like a kimura armbar. It's yeah. Like reverse armbar and kimura at the same time. It's breaking the shoulder and the elbow. So when you grab that, uh, in, in this case, my right right hand, basically it traps me in place. Mm. So I can't escape. I'm okay. If you let go, I will roll. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening to me. Can, can I uh, try to roll on you? Let's see here. Yep. Oh, move back. Sorry. <laughs> We've got a team. We got a team of guys filming today. <laughs> okay. So you're pummeling. You got that armbar. I don't want the armbar. I'm gonna go put my head down. You got my wrist. I'm trying to roll out of this here. Yeah. Oh shh. Yeah, it's not tap, gonna tap, happen. Tap, tap, tap. Sorry. It's rotate, rotate, rotate. <laughs> you got a double underhook on my arm. Rotate. Yeah, if I can. Double butterfly hook. But we're going to go over what happens if you can't get the underhook. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the basic principle, guys, especially if you're dealing with somebody big and strong, a lot of times. <laughs> to get bigger and stronger than me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm referring that's why, specifically that's to That's why he Hira. insisted on having me uh, as a partner. <laughs> okay, so we're here. So I'm big and strong. If I can't. Oh, if I yeah, can't. Yeah. If I can't get under his arm, if I can get under the leg, it's the same thing. This is very, this very- This is worse. So right now you're trapped, but this is where the finish comes tap, from. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, now. This is the worst. Let's do that again slow. So over here you got the wrist. So you're underhooking my leg. Sometimes- now, Excuse I, me, my arm with your leg. Yeah, see how mm -hmm. I, I brought it up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then, so right now you're trapped. You're not really feeling a lot of pain. I could underhook here, but- This is holding my head down. Like I couldn't put posture yeah. here. I can't roll either. So right now you're trapped. I don't want you to roll. So I'm pressuring down with my right inner thigh, but this is where, notice, you know, this just doesn't do anything. So I, I turn my body in a way that puts a bend in Firas's uh, tap, arm, tap, tap. and that's a finish. Tap, Ooh, tap, tap, tap. So now there's a, that's it, that's awesome. <laughs> that's like a crucifix, uh, om, om plata. Crucifix, om plata. So watch right here, pummel. Shrimp, shotgun, excuse me. And earlier, we were going underneath. Yeah, this triangle, is really good. And then you also did a double butterfly. Yeah, this so, is this is really bad for me. So there's, but, you but can do a triangle. If or, I can clear this, mm -hmm, you're back I will out. roll. Right. I so it's very important to, if you get this, if you get the double under, oh, hold sorry. on to, hold on oh, to my Oh, that's right, that's right. I, le I left a loose end here. Yeah. yeah so no loose ends, I, guys, I, no loose ends. I'm stuck. I let go of this and the guy, you pummeled yeah. your arm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what, that's why, that's why I'm, I'm getting a more roll than subs. Yeah. Because here I feel like I finish you. Boom, if I underhook this, your arm's gone. I'm done. So you can also, variation, go over the top. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. it, that's really nice. Yeah. And uh, if you hold on to, if I'm holding on to this arm, can you try to posture? I cannot. This, this leg straightening out here, can you just try to lift your head a bit? And this arm pressure is just crushing him yeah. To the bottom, it's like a crucifix here, right? Yeah. As long as I hang on to that wrist. Yeah, you have to hang on. You're, st you're stuck. If I can I just free want to show my the guys. Mm -hmm. This is great pressure. If I, I feel I could even turn to my knees and sweep you, but you're getting the sub because you hang on to that wrist. Yeah. That's, that's what I've been missing. See? It's the wrist. Sometimes it's just little tiny <laughs> details. It's the little thing. One little detail. You get the guy to tap or you sweep him. If you know one detail, the match is over. Yeah. You don't know that detail, the match continues. Yeah. It's crazy. So here, boom. Shotgun grip. Boom, here we're doing the armbar. We're trying to get a break here. He I'm already turning, arm. I'm already turning because I, I feel I'm in trouble. This now, is... if I put out my leg, right. you can go under my leg as well. Yes. Sorry, good? Yeah. Boom, trap that leg. Butterfly hook on the leg. Let's rotate you, everybody. What's going on on the far side? So I'm triangling the arm. Essentially, I'm doing a triangle on the arm. So I instead of triangling the head and arm, I only got the arm, right? Yep. It's this wrist, if I control this wrist, you can't roll out. Can you try to roll out here? No. I feel like I, I feel like I have to. I'm there is there is some flexible guys. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm not that flexible in the shoulders. So there's I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm not, not too bad if you want. There's some guys that will roll. The problem is because your arms are controlled and you really cannot turn your shoulders that well, you have to be extremely flexible because as you're jumping over like rolling over the guy's legs, um, 
it, it literally can tweak somebody's shoulders quite bad. And now because they're rolling, they can't stop and the other guy is tied up. So uh, I only, there's one of my students very flexible that will do that. But if, if we can duplicate that, I'll show you where he's gonna wind up. It is ugly, yeah. <laughs> even for him once they land, but that's the only possible thing they can do. But it's very difficult to duplicate it. You gotta be really, really flexible. Okay, can, uh, let's see, I, I think I'll try to, all right, I'll try to be Mr. Flexible. I'm pretty good in the shoulders, not too bad. I'm more tight in the legs, but shoulders I can pretty. So I start to attack. Right. So once I start to do, so can you try to tuck your head and try to roll slow, 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 slow. Yeah. And my arm is still cut. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> so that's it, again, that's, that's an extremely unlikely response and I discourage a lot of people from doing that because once you kind of roll over, it's very belabored it's roll. Hard to tap. Yeah, like, and then, then you can't, and even if you start screaming tap, the other guy <laughs> cannot disengage. So it's sort of like you're going, but I, I don't know if you noticed, what kept me in control was that very tight grip on the wrist. That wrist, man, that wrist is key, top, top key. Yeah, like yeah, sure. That's why I'm only getting sweeps. Yeah. Because you have the loose end trapped. Um, what did, we did the first one, the first one plata you did. Yeah, you sure to me? yeah, yeah. We did, oh, it was the underhook on the arm, so. What I want to do is, is also kind of maybe tell people. So as I'm doing the first one, that, so this time I don't have the far side arm. Right, this is it. So yeah. this is a very, very big point. I know Firaz has the strength of a 250 pound, <laughs> 250 pound guy. 260. But let's, pre, let's, 260. So, but imagine that if Firaz were actually 260, I'm in this position. What's gonna happen, especially my, yeah, he's gonna be posturing up. So go ahead, start to, so I, I'm battling, my hands are too busy posting and scooting. So I'm battling his position. And as I'm battling in the same direction, it's easy for him to, to, to control that. So what we'll do is to change direction. Mm -hmm. How do you avoid that so now? You, you went back and then so you I'm, went- I'm going from lined up to perpendicular. Perpendicular. So if I'm battling, I need to bring Firas's head or, 260 pound Firas's head down to the mat. Without it, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So if I if I just keep fighting like this and Firas is 260, this is what's going to happen. I'm I'm going to try to cut down with this leg, but the reality is not going to happen. So what I'll do is I change perpendicular mm -hmm. and now back. And now I have the possibility of this. This was the detail also I want to cover. Yeah. The elbow here. It's so, very important. So you feel you feel the difference? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I felt like my elbow is being attacked. So especially if the guy's, too, too, you know, over two, anything, for me, anything over, you know, even athletic 180 pounder, it's, it's here, it's, it's gonna be a rough battle. So to get mm -hmm. down to, and I will continue to pressure. So now, yeah, now I'm in a position to finish. But whereas here, it's sort of like, okay, if the guy rolls your shin, you know, your tibula and fibula, you know, are in sort of in, in place. So I get my feet out of the way and I pre push down on the elbow and I wanna have, so and you're attacking the elbow with your legs? Yes. Can I try that? Absolutely. All right, let's try this angle here. Same same yeah. side? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's stay on the same side, so. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, I'm shripping, I'm doing shotgun. This time I lost control of the arm. Yeah, it does happen, right? I'm sliding it. back, the yep. partner's yep. posturing, posture, posture, posture. I'm turning back in. Yeah, so I, so I have to change the direction that I'm defending. So once I change, so once I, so right now I'm defending this. This is mm. easy for me. Yes. Once you change perpendicular, I have to change. Right. Yeah, and now, now you go back. Now you, you go back. No, I, once I get the head down, yeah. I can come back here. Yeah. I see, because your arm is trapped. You're like, you're like, you're like a three-legged table. Yeah. When I go perpendicular, I'm pulling you back down. Yeah. Into that. And then now you can attack the arm. Missing leg. Yeah. Let me try that again. All right, I think I got it. So here, I pummel, arms have to be on the mat. I'm grabbing the point of the elbow here. I'm getting to that arm lock situation. If I lose this arm, so can I still sub you? It's gonna be hard. From here? No, Cause, yeah, I, cause I lost the arm. It's okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm going omoplata. Yeah. And now I'm going back with your posturing. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Can you, can you posture? Posture with? Okay, now I gotta put the weight on this shoulder. Is so that you're it? gonna go perpendicular? Yeah, yeah. As this happens? Pull them back down. Yeah, you can either go into that, or now as I start to defend that, mm -hmm. this angle, you go back to the original, and, and yes. Oh, and now we're done. Down. Yeah, now bring your, 
push, use your free hand. I like to keep my hand here. Okay. And use your uh, left, left hand, hand left to hand. push down my elbow while you bring your calf closer to. This elbow, I push it down like yeah. this? And start walk your feet, walk your feet. No, no, don't get up, don't get up. Don't get up, yeah. just walk. So, yeah, just push. So your foot is gonna walk like this, like a fit. Yes. This one, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now you slowly sit up. So, tap, tap, mm -hmm. tap. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Just again, it goes to show you how little things now have big results, mm -hmm. you know? We tweak uh, the angle a little bit. We tweak where the calf positioning is. And now you know, the success rate on, on an omoplata is, is much, much greater. Quick little question. Can you put me on omoplata? Sure. I've seen this footlock. I've never been uh, a big uh, user of this footlock. But sometimes when you do omoplata, yeah. I've seen guys, can we rotate here? Rotate, yeah. rotate. I've seen, I, I, honestly, I don't do this one myself, but I've seen it. So I, it's something yes. I'm always careful for. They kind of grab this foot and yeah. they bend it on their head. Yeah, this actually, will hurt. They actually get taps from here. I've seen people yes. tap people from here and just bending the foot yes. down and pop. Yeah, it will, it will. So let's let's start here mm -hmm. and let's go semi-live. Go for it. Ready? Ah, I see, I see. Oh, now? Yeah, that. a smart foot. Yeah. You can't just be lazy. Yeah. Ready? So any, yeah, go. Let's try that again. Yeah, go. Ready? Ah, uh -huh, I see, yeah, that's very smart. Very, very smart. I like that because you know what some people, they, they forget that there's a foot hanging loose. Yeah, and it's somebody who grabbed that foot and just smash it. It's probably, it's not the toughest, it's not the most high leverage submission, but I've seen guys tap to that and it actually surprised me because I don't think about that foot lock. I don't do that foot lock. So I've seen it here and there and I'm like, whoa, that, you know, the guy got tapped from doing omoplata. Yeah, I, I got caught with it about 12 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> once, <laughs> once. once. I just think No, so man, I'm, more, I was a purple belt, so. Man, that's just, we're going back to, no, it's almost 20 years ago. Wow. I got taught, tapped with it once and I never, never happens again. Because now, but understand that when the guy does that, they actually putting themselves at risk. Cause you know, normally as, as we just went over, when you're doing these techniques, if you're getting caught in omoplata, you want to keep this arm away because this allows, this arm allows me to roll and try to control the Can angle. Can we show them? Because uh, yes. some people have trouble. Visualizing. So, as, as I'm doing this, right? Mm -hmm. You want to keep this arm away because if you don't. Yeah, I'm dead. You're in trouble. So they're doing this. Yeah. Let's just rotate real quick. Yeah. So, if Fox catches my wrist here, this wrist, I'm dead. Yeah. Like, he's going to sub is, me. This he's going to sub me. So, they're going to be doing this. Yeah. And they so, want to catch that foot. So, now think about when they start, when they go for the foot. So, once I, yeah. so even if you take a grip on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 you're extending it. You don't want it behind my head. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. oh, you know. Actually, I, gave you, I just gave you the hand. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm <laughs> in trouble here. Yeah, I see, I see. So that's why. You strip that grip. Yeah, I can bring it to me and now mm -hmm. it's, it's, now this is where mm -hmm. I want to be. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a lot of trouble. So you kind of took a shot at a oddball submission. Mm. And then as a result of that, you literally gave, gave me a very severe omoplata submission. So I, I, you just gotta be, you just gotta be, onto it, you know, like when you cross your ankles on somebody's back. Yes, yes, yes. You can do that, but it, you know, just be aware that it's the minute the guy starts to move in a way that's threatening you, just move. These are moves you'll find in the back pages of the Jiu Jitsu manual, you know, the great <laughs> manual, but it does happen. I've seen guys- It's a guys, small print. Yeah, it's a small print. If you, if you roll long enough, you see these kind of crazy subs, they exist. Once in a blue moon, we actually get caught in them. Um, they're, they're a nuisance, but they're still there because they can't yeah. tap you. If you don't know about yeah. them, you'll get caught with it. You have to be careful. As soon as you start to see that guy grabbing, this is the time to sort of swim. Even if he does get a grip, just make sure that you act immediately. Feed his wrist with your leg, and now he's, he's done. Amazing. Guys, this is part one of our video. We're going to be doing another episode, so stay tuned for that one. We're going to be airing it next week. Fox, thank you so much for oh. giving us some omoplata secrets. Lots more to come. Stay tuned. My pleasure. <laughs>